Hello YouTube, this is GFX app here with a quick tutorial on how to use Pinnacle Studios 4 14. Can it can be any Pinnacle, but it's just what I have. Before I start off this tutorial, please guys subscribe to my channel. Remember, like some of my stuff. Uh I'm gonna be getting a lot more subs because I am getting on some sub box. I'm going to be like getting I'm gonna get subs by myself, don't worry, I'm just like trying to get sub boxes right now. And um now I'm doing GFX for the sniping three sixty, so please subscribe to it. Once this video is uploaded, it will this will be in my sub box. So yeah, please subs please subscribe to this and mine. Let me get to this video. Alright, Pinnacle Studios is uh editing software. And it's a very great program. It's not as good as Sony Vegas, but Sony Vegas is very complicated. And this is just for beginners. If you get really good with this, you might want to upgrade to Sony. But this is... So first, I'm going to show you how to record. People, when you get here, you don't like really know how to record. You just have to click this thing right here. Click Import. And it's going to Loading the Studio Import. You just have, you just have to wait. Alright, see now you're at Studio Impel, and, you, and if you have your Dazzle plugged in, I've, I don't have it plugged in right now, so it's going to say no input signal. But yeah, here are the Dazzle settings. You can, uh, this is with composite, and this, if you have an S-Video and composite, I, I have a composite. But yeah, you, these are the settings, like your color, like once you're recording, you want to, like, move these to where you want, and do not press this, just press X and it will be saved. And this is the webcam and a stop motion. You don't have to worry about this. But all right, so now I'm gonna show you some. Uh, see this little uh, whatever a lightning thing. This is transactions. As you know, once like a clip is done, shall you? Like once a clip is done, like something will just like fade into something like like this thing, like. You can do this. This is like after a clip, you can make it fade, and it'll, it'll be a little bit more artistic. And if you wanted, if if you wanted to put it faster, you just click this rewind. Yeah, that was a little bit way too fast. But yeah, or you can like keep it re rewind it. It's very, it's very cool. I I think so. But if you want it back to normal, then put it back to normal. All right, so that's much it. And there's a lot more that you can do like more that was just like you know just regular way. these are like more creative ones like this you know it's just like windows and this is really that all this stuff is like more like just like for fun like like this one like that would be kinda dumb to put this but it's your choice if you want to now here's a thing called montage themes click on it now here our montage themes is like what you want your theme uh, between each clip to be. It could be about sports, anything. It can, this is kind of hard to explain, and I'm not. I really don't use these a lot, so I'm gonna go into the next one. Titles. This is a very important thing. Not very important, but people like. Like if you want to make like an update video, people like use this and they drag. And if you want to make an update video with just words, just like words saying it, you have to let's say I'll click on this and drag it and drag it to the timeline. Yeah, it's called timeline. And you can just make some text and it'll be a quick little update video. Now take it out, or if you want to take it out, just right click and delete. Now here's pictures. This is pictures that I make. You know my GFX pictures. You don't. You can put these in this video. Like you can. Like this is for like a GFX pack. If you don't know what that is, I'm not gonna go really into depth with it. Click on this over here. Wait for it to load. I don't use this much. But if I ever uh, have, if I ever want to, uh, I will. But yeah, this is just you know, your text here, but a little bit more like advanced. Now here is this little open close video toolbox. Click on this little camera, and this will bring in like how to split clips. You can do this. This is a little bit more complicated. But yeah, this is just like the titles that I was showing you. But yeah, you can just like. Uh, these are like more like uh, you know edits 
you can you can do edits so like over here if you click this little uh, plugin this is where you find like slow motion speed uh, rotate like a bunch of effects that are actually pretty cool and uh, and this is just some this is the timeline right here now this is where your recording is going to be so let's say like you have this recorded and I'm gonna drag my montage down this is my montage that I made this is like a a montage that I made of my clips it was actually a pretty good montage I liked it very much here was a lot of lag don't worry I this was this is this is bad because I was just um I was just you know messing around getting clips I found some clips but they're kinda gay clips <laughs> like here I get a uh, every like the my edits got here I get a uh, uh a nine kill feed spas and I was in ground war so I killed the whole entire team with my spas got a collat there I jump down get kills there get another kill there it's seven that's one eight that's nine and I shank them for nine that was a really good clip that I got this was like a mini edit that I did but yeah that's pretty much it guys so uh, remember guys subscribe like and comment I hope this tutorial helped